So you're looking for a light for your streaming setup, maybe a cheaper version to the Elgato key light. This video has got you covered, buddy. Stay tuned. Internet, welcome back. Robert T. Garden here again with another video helping you create your own path. Today we're talking about the newer LED P260C. Before I get started, I'd love it if you haven't already. Consider subscribing. I put out content on a weekly basis on filmmaking tips and the business of being a creative. So if you like what you see here, go ahead and hit the bell for post notifications after you subscribed, of course, uh, because you would have to do one before the other. But I, I think that you guys uh, I think you guys know the deal so far, so I'm just gonna keep moving on and talking about this this light. The newer P260C LED edge lit light, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, this thing is a direct competitor to the Elgato key light, the Godox under the same name. There's a bunch of different versions of this type of thing. Davni makes their own, uh, but these lights are really exceptional, especially if you're working in confined or tight spaces. I really love this light because of its soft diffuse look, it's remote power, all those different types of things we're gonna get into in a second. First, let's talk about what is inside of the box. There's really not too much to this box. There, of course, is the light itself and the bracket to mount it on the stand. The power adapter and the remote is really all that I have here. And that's really it. There's just not a ton to this light itself, which is one of the reasons why I like it so much. What are the key features of the light that I love? Let's get into it. I like the fact that this light is super slim and can be mounted in a bunch of inconspicuous places around your desk setup. It's variable temperature light, which is super important to me, and it's dimmable from 25 to 100%. The main advantage of this light for me is the diffusion that is built in with this plexiglass setup. I spoke about this earlier in my video lighting kit, but this is an edge lit reflected soft light. It's kind of a unique way of looking at things, but around the edge of this panel are LEDs that are being shunned into a reflective surface and then bounced outward, and they're being diffused from this kind of dotted, perforated plexiglass setup that's there. So really what you get is a very thin panel that has a bunch of diffused light coming out of it, as opposed to your hard LEDs that have no diffusion in front of the light source itself. Some of the features that I absolutely love or that are super cool is the remote. I literally keep this in my desk drawer and I turn it on and off just like this. Um, I can dim it as well. I think I can even change the grouping of what's going on with these particular lights. This is a pretty popular remote for these types of lights. It comes with a bunch of different newer Godox, even the Davnies and the Elgatos have a very similar remote to this, but it's small, it fits inside my desk drawer. I use that, it's totally cool. Like I said, I love the fact that it's temperature controlled. White balance for me is a huge deal, especially when I'm throwing different color lights all over the place. And when I start to play with RGB colors, my white balance temperature for my my cameras makes a huge difference as it should with you as well while my light is hooked to ac power it does have two sony fp battery slots now the interesting thing about this is that it has to have two batteries connected even though that only one of them is where the power draw is from and what do i mean by this now, as you can see on the back of this thing, there are two slots and I have two FP batteries being slotted in them. However, it's only pulling power from one of those batteries. And if that one battery dies, it doesn't go to the secondary battery as a backup power source. I don't really understand this because why give me two battery slots if only one of them is going to be drawing power? It doesn't really affect me so much now in this particular setup because everything's being plugged into the wall, but I do intend to travel with this light because it is thin and travel friendly. Now, if that's the case, I have to have two FP batteries, but only need one of them to actually be charged. I guess I could just swap the ports and have it work that way, but I haven't tested that. If anyone has, leave a comment in below and let me know what you think about that particular situation. It's kind of strange though, no? Just let me use power off of both. Now this light is really geared at people who are looking for an easy, continuous light source for smaller, compact locations like desktops or streaming setups. Elgato makes a great version of this light, as does Davni, but this is just a cheaper quality alternative for you and your setup. Now how could you use this light? I have mine mounted to a monitor arm that's fully mobile for me to put in a variety of different locations for my desktop YouTube setup. You could also put it on a light stand and use it as a key light for different scenarios, but also because it's so lightweight, I've 
put it on a friction arm and mounted it in a bunch of different crazy places inside my office, these shelves behind me, different things on my monitor, and it's just a really inconspicuous light that I can kind of shove into weird spaces because it's so light and portable. And what I don't like about this light, uh, like I mentioned, really the only thing I can find is the dual battery FP slot thing. I'm not going to beat a dead horse, but I do think that this is a design flaw. So if anyone understands how to get around this scenario, I'd love for you to leave a comment in below. But I, I haven't figured out a way to do that. So I placed an affiliate link for this thing down in the description below. Remember, if you like the video, like the damn video. If you haven't already, I would love it if you consider subscribing. Ring the bell for post notifications. <sighs> With that being said, ladies and germs, this is Robert T. Garden with another video in the can. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.